Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today's topic is understanding simulating data stores. In today's session, we will learn about what are data stores, when to use data stores, how to define simulating dot signal for using data stores block without data store memory block, and how to use DSR DSW for multi-dimensional signals. So let's get started. Simulating data stores consist of mainly three blocks. One is data store memory. Second is data store write, and third is data store read. Using data store write, we can write a particular parameter, for example, signal underscore one, multiple times in our simulating model. And at the same time, using data store read, we can read the same parameter at multiple locations in our simulating model. Data store memory has definition of this particular signal underscore one along with the other parameters which can be read using a data store read block. If we are using a same data store write at multiple locations, every time this data store write gets written, it will overwrite the earlier stored value and newly written value will be read by all the data store reads present in model. Scope of this DSR and DSW block depends on a location where data store memory block is placed in our model. So if you want to have scope of these two blocks as global, then we need to place this data store memory block at root level in our simulating model. Now the basic question is when to use data store read and write block in our simulating model. So these data stores can be useful when multiple signals at different levels of a model need the same global value. And if we try to connect these explicitly using signal lines or input output ports, the model uh, will become too cluttery and sometimes it is not even feasible. Instead of using input output ports and using signal lines, we can use data store read writes and avoid this situation. The data store read writes behave exactly like the global variables in our C program. So for example, here I have a model where I want to write values to the start step and restart for a counter. I have two counters where I want to provide the same inputs and I want to read its output back to the interface and provide to the scope. So instead of using these signal lines and an additional unit delay block, we can simply recreate this logic using data store read writes where I have defined all the global parameters and I am using data store write to write these values and instead of using signal lines and input output port, I am directly reading those values at a location where I want uh, those parameters to be read. At the same time, I am using its output from the counter logic. I am writing it back to data store write and again reading back into the interface block. As I said earlier, we can specify different parameters to our signals using a data store memory block. So for start, we can specify initial value. We want it data type as boolean and we want its dimension as single. So we can keep it as inherit from initial value. For step, we want it as a single. So we start again, we need it as a boolean. And these two values we want this as a symbol. I have kept this as at the root level. I want the scope of these parameters as a global in my model. For the counters, I have kept max value for first counter as 70 and second value sec, uh, max value for second counter as 20. Let's simulate this model. So we can see that uh, first counter has counted till 70 and second counter has counted till 20. For the very first sample, it has took its initial value for the counter and it has started from zero. 
when we double click on any of the data store memory we can see the corresponding data store field and write block right now there are a total three blocks under this scope if we move the start block inside this subsystem and we double click on it we can see there is only one corresponding data store write block so in this way we can change the scope of data store read, read write blocks when we have a huge model and there are multiple number of signals in our model then using data store memory block for each and every parameter is not feasible so we can define the data store memory blocks using m script we can define our parameters using simulink dot signal and with their property if we define it using the m script then we don't need the data store memory blocks present here we can simply remove this and we can see <laughs> our parameters are present in model workspace and if we simulate the model we should not throw any error and model should simulate correctly we can use data store read and write blocks for multidimensional signals for that we need to redefine the signal dimension we can remove this for now I'm extracting the two signals from uh, counter one output, and at the same time, I'm writing two parameters into counter one output. So again, it worked correct, and you can see the signal dimension. So data store read write supports multiple dimensional signals but it doesn't support variable dimension signal so make sure you use dsr and dsw only for a fixed dimensional signals that's it for today's video if you have any questions regarding this content please write those in comment section i'll try to answer those as soon as possible thanks for your support